One of the last phases of the job, seven foot commercial privacy link. It's gonna be probably episode 30, standing up on the hill, almost where we first started and we're not entirely done. But as we look around, we've working on one of the last sections here, we have privacy link and then we have a uh, chain link with the smaller slot inserts for these uh, sharper parts of the hill so the wire actually conforms to the hillside. Anyway, we're gonna go up here where we started episode one and just kind of take a look around from what bare ground was to what it is now. We've got all this wire stretched up in our sauna tube section. They're coming in with some drain pipes to kind of fill this area up. We worked around all of these rocks. We worked with a subgrade, come down along the front, installed the gates, doing the operators. A little bias over there. Coming across a nice big stretch across the top. Got a little contour on the side and doing the last stretch of wire today. And then we'll be installing all the slats. Got a nice little bias cut over here. And we've gone over those techniques on tailoring the wire in for a bias cut. And basically, if you haven't seen another video, you can take the bar and put this bar behind this tail and that will scoot each one over a little bit more. You can also bend these over in the end and knuckle them, but we're putting slats in here. So when the slats come down, I'll go as far as I can without being scrunched over. But that is a uh, cut one, skip one, Cut one, skip one, cut one, skip one, cut one, skip one, and so on, all the way down. So it is a really consistent cut. And about to put the tension wire on right now. Try to kind of like tighten this section up as we go. But if you look at it, it's got a really nice grade and the rail goes really nice. And the fabric's dressing out pretty well. Um, and that technique is basically if you have a needle or a picket coming down, and when that hits that post, make the cut. And then you basically jump into the next needle over. And it'll guide you down to where when it touches, go ahead and make the next cut. And then you jump over to the next needle where it would be coming down. And when it touches the pole, make a cut. And it's a really good way and indicator to tell where you need to make the cut. Every time you jump over to the next picket, it'll lead you into the post, so then you make that cut. Put all your spot ties on and get it dressed out as nice as you can and pull a little tension on it. And then when you stretch it, you're gonna have a really nice time tying this off and having your fabric look really nice. So now what we have is this boulder and we're going to cut and knuckle and conform our tension wire around there to where it all looks really nice. So I'm not going to do the cutting and knuckling right now. I'm going to put the tension wire over there and get the best natural line that the tension wire takes. And then we'll tailor the chain link to that because the tension wire is going to do something on its own as we come over that rock. And rather than tuck it in really low and then come up and do some unusual angles, we're just going to go with the flow of the land on the tension wire and tailor the chain link into it and the developer, developer is going to fill up the other areas with dirt to kind of match it. So we're coming down the hill right now and if you're stretching your chain link you can come to an intermediate post and you can try to come along on for a diagonal or you can take a vice grip chain lock and lock up your post here or a pipe cutter or another come along down to a diagonal but this is what I do so I lock that down so it doesn't move and then come on over to a regular Mazda 2-ton come along and then I specifically made this tree for my own fencing needs just a piece of one and five with a, uh, a backbone on it it's really heavy duty I didn't go with the bent S hooks I actually used some bolts and came over and made some rigid ends on them so they don't break off this one's been in service since 2015, I believe. 
I made that quite a few years ago. But uh, you can see we're getting a decent grade going through here. And we'll give you an update later on the job when it's finished in its entirety and all the slats are in as we work on our last stretch today. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.